What's up, Vikings? Welcome back to another episode of VVN. We have another amazing episode for you this week, so let's jump right in. What's up, Vikings? Do you love to sing? Have you ever wanted to learn how to use your voice in a musical way? Here's your reminder that registration is going on now for Fall 2024 classes, and you can join choir. Register for a cappella choir as an elective. Any questions? Come see Mrs. Ludwig in room 606 or access this survey from this QR code available through Parent Square, your email, or this announcement. What's up, Vikings? Spring sports have finally begun. Today, the 20th, JV and varsity softball play against San Gabriel home. Both games start at 3.30. Boys JV and varsity volleyball play against Whittier Christian home. Varsity will start at 3.30 and JV at 5. Boys JV and varsity tennis will face South Pasadena with JV being away and varsity playing home. Both games start at 3.30. Wednesday, the 21st, JV and varsity baseball play against Glendale with JV playing home and varsity away. JV will start at 3.15 and varsity at 3.30. Thursday the 22nd, JV and Varsity Softball play against Baldwin Park home. Both games start at 3.30. Boys Varsity Volleyball play against Bassett away. The game starts at 4.30. That's all for sports this week. See you guys next week. Russia's leading opposition, Alexei Navalny, has died at age 47 while serving a sentence of 30 years in an Arctic Circle maximum security prison. He was an anti-corruption activist and a political prisoner. He organized anti-government demonstrations to advocate for reforms against corruption in Russia and against President Vladimir Putin and his government. His cause of death was not revealed, but Russian dissidents and Western opponents were quick to blame the Kremlin, which has denied any involvement in his death, calling statements by leaders across the world as unacceptable. Vikings, last week's winner of the poll results was Spider-Man with 56% and Batman with 44%. Fun fact about Batman is that in the animated The Batman, Bruce Wayne's favorite food was nachos, which led to a hilarious callback in the more recent Batman, The Brave and the Bold. Today's poll of the week is who did it best during Spirit Week? Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, or seniors? The results will be on next week's episode. Hey Vikings, today's show recommendation is Invincible. The show follows 17-year-old Mark Grayson and his transformation into a superhero under the guidance of his father, Omni-Man, the most powerful superhero on the planet. Mark is like struggling between his personal life and superhero duties. The two seasons are available on Amazon Prime Video. I rate the show a 10 out of 10. Have a great rest of your day, Vikings. Hey Vikings, today's movie recommendation is Crazy Rich Asians. Rachel is happy to go with her boyfriend Nick to his best friend's wedding in Singapore. Along the way, she realized that Nick's family is wealthy and is considered one of the most countries eligible vouchers. Now Rachel's put in the spotlight and has to contain her jealousy because of the girls who are trying to put her down and has to deal with Nick's relatives but also his disapproving mother. That's all for me Vikings, have a great day. Some February national days are National Comfy Day, which is today. On the 21st, it's National Sticky Bun Day. On the 22nd, it's National Chili Day. And on the 23rd, it's National Banana Bread Day. Hey Vikings, this week's song recommendation is She's Thunderstorms by Arctic Monkeys. She's thunderstorms lying on the front. Oh. Hey there, this year the fighting game community has been getting good games lately other than the JJK game. Now this week I'm recommending a game where you finally have the Z axis and it's not anime related. I actually really hate the JJK game as this week's game recommendation is Tekken 8. Now it's a great game but the amounts of moves and combos there are are atrociously long and how many there are. Now for lore, basically tournament of martial arts because of daddy issues because of someone's dad throwing his son into a volcano as their bloodline spams this move. <laughs> Was that a freaking bear? Oh well, get grabbed and you're dead. Why? Well, because of a Hispanic. Anyways, this game is on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and we'll get DLC characters like the last game having Negan from The Walking Dead. So a little while ago, 
pretty close to a year, yeah, like give or take a week, I recommended Kangan Ashura. Since then, the second season of the anime has came out, which I'll be watching later. Now, out of all the other choices I laid out to decide what to recommend for the week, Kangan Ashura stood out to me as its 3D animation was a surprise to be sure. As most anime fans know, an anime fully in 3D kind of has a bad stigma around it, like Berserk 2016 or Fist of Blue Sky Regenesis. If they're backed by an experienced 3D studio, then there are probably no worries for the most part. Now, why did I bring up Kangan Ashura? Well, I wanted to see if there was something similar to it. Then, I found Levius. In Levius, pr uh, pretty similar to Megalobox, there's the sport of boxing, but instead of mechanical gears being put on fighters, it's simply prosthetics that run on steam. But as Megalobox takes place in like a modern to futuristic setting, Levius takes place in a 19th century dubbed the Era of Rebirth since a great war took place years prior. The protagonist of the anime, Levius Cromwell, was a child who got injured during this war. In fact, he lost his right arm and had to get a prosthetic replacement. To make the situation even worse, his mom was severely injured trying to protect him. Now, this war happened because of... Man, I'm not gonna go through this history lesson. I'll just have the clips play beside me so you just watch those. Anyways, something, something, special water, blood, something called hypersteam. Just take away that steam is really damn important. No, no, not that steam. And this steam is what powers the prosthetic arms in metal boxing. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm curious to see how people take advantage of these prosthetics and either cheat or hone their skills to a point of being superhuman. Oh, that's a lot of steam. I'll go get a dehumidifier. That's all for this week, Vikings. See you again next week. <laughs>